Hey guys, this is Snack Attack 8, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy 8. This is part 83. For some reason, <laughs> I almost just said Final Fantasy 2. <laughs> For no reason. Why? <laughs> Why would I say something like that? It's not even part 82. I almost I just wanted to instinctively call this Final Fantasy 2. What if this was part 2? What if this was the second Final Fantasy? Part 2 as if they all would follow a same a single continuous story. I guess it's Final Fantasy 2 on the PS1 specifically. Makes no sense. Final Fantasy 2 was also on the PS1, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> what? <laughs> You guys, we're back here in uh, Ultimecia's castle. Um, last time we came through here, we made it all the way to Ultimecia's like little zone in the farthest end of this dungeon, and we did we did fight two bosses uh, and get some of our abilities back. But I do want to kind of see if we can maybe like get all of them or kind of figure everything out. And we probably will want to do that before fighting Ultimecia anyway, as I assume she is the final boss of the game. So, um, yeah, so we're going to do more of that on this one. And I decided instead of working back from where Ultimecia was, because we found two bosses relatively early here, like the way my brain's kind of working at this is it's one of those very kind of puzzle box like things. Where it's going to go, like, it's going to kind of work outward almost in, like, circles. So, I figured we should, tr because we made it all the way out to the end, we, we sh I should just reset my save here to the beginning. And we're going to try to kind of work closer to home and, and spread out that way. Um, so, I'm trying to think of what puzzles we already know about here that we can do. We know about ringing the bell. And, let's see, there, there was one, there's, we know we can get across here by doing something because there's a, a door on the other side of there and it looks like you can probably walk across here like if there was some way to be lighter or there was some way to like not you know like not have to worry about it oh and there's also this lever that's here as well look at the frames on that thing go up there's this lever also that we don't know about really um, so that's also something to take into consideration. There's like a lot of things. I wonder if we pull the lever, if that will, st well that actually looks like it's connected to the ceiling. I wonder if we pull the lever if that will stop this from coming down. There's something we might try. God, I didn't want to see this squall, not today. Let's try that. Let's try, in this episode, well, let's declare. We're going to figure out the lever and we're going to figure out the bell. Um, other things I saw last time, we know there's an organ that you can play notes on. Um, there's a weird painting. There's that thing that like fell off that bridge we were walking on. And then way out there, there's a clock that you can, I would also assume, do something with. Let's see, I, I think because we'll probably want main party here, that we are going to need to use both guys in order to test this out. Let's see if it like connects up here or something. Does it? You can't really see. Um, what would be the best way to do this? I thought there was a switch point up here. I guess we switch to them down here. And then just send the other party through. And this isn't operating on like a timer or anything. So this should be fine. I think there was also some other rooms and stuff kind of around this first sort of main area. That we didn't really check out that much. So... I want to do that. Okay, so let's give you guys the junctions. <laughs> I could, I guess, be cutting like this stuff out also, but I don't know. It's like, do I want to do more work now or do I want to do more work later <laughs> when the editing, the dreaded editing process has begun? Yeah, because we can get these guys through here. This isn't, and this is like right in the room anyway. This is like real close. I'm pretty confident in this. I think this is it. And then we'll have, we'll know what the point of this lever is, which is good. Or we won't if this doesn't work, but you know what I mean. Okay, this, these are not the ones though. <laughs> Get me out of here. The ladies are not having a good day right now. Thank you. 
They're flashing that bling. They're showing those ultimate weapons, but they're not. Uh, they're not looking. They're not doing too hot right now. I guess we could also try to go back down into the sewer there, or not the sewer, but the um, back down into the cellar. There might be something else down there. I didn't X around. I'll, I guess I did X around a bit on the screen down there, but not too much. I don't know. I feel like this these areas are are more dense than we thought they were, and they're again they're all gonna kind of interconnect. So let's try this out now. Does this allow us to walk across? Oh yes, it definitely does. Okay, sweet. All right, cool. So I don't know if there will be a boss right here or if there will still have more to go. Oh, what do you know? It's the three-armed Iceler. Why does he have like an... He's like foaming at the ice mouth. This is a weird guy. Seeking thy sealed power. I'm sure he's weak to like fire, but like he's also weak to squalls attacks. So that's what we're going to do. We could use magic. Yeah, this guy's like, he's just kind of stupid looking. Show me what you got. You'll regret fighting me. Are those season two Rick and Morty references like really uh, working for you guys right now still? Remember when we referenced two brothers? Oh, Jesus. This guy might be strong. Didn't I get my magic back? Please don't tell me it reset really mad about that oh my god he just kills maybe I don't have magic like equipped maybe I needed to re-equip it well we got wiped oh Zell's still alive <laughs> Zell who can't use his limit break either why did he live oh man we got this you got this Zell let's go Zell what if it died Miss. All right. Okay, weird. Also, it looked like he was growing his hand back. All right, well, we all had a good laugh at that. I'm sure I got like a million comments. Ha ha. Snack didn't remember to re-equip his junctions before charging in here to fight the boss. I was too excited to see if this idea or plan would work, and of course I forgot, but that's why we couldn't use magic. That's why we were so weak. I'm sure it's not actually that... The strongest thing of all time. <laughs> Though, honestly, that counterattack seemed pretty potent potent still, but... I don't know. How did I not even notice that we were... That we didn't have full health? Uh, stupid. I was too busy looking at the guy and talking about making Rick and Morty references. How much does this do when we're strong boys? A thousand. Okay, a thousand to Squall with his Protect on. It's not terrible. And it doesn't seem like he really takes a lot of damage. But we'll see. Whoa. Shot a little blast. What do we want to get back? I think what we want back is... um. You know, maybe we want to use magic? Maybe like see if he's weak to fire or something? How much does Squall do? He does a thousand. It's still pretty resilient. Squall can keep taking these. He, he doesn't take very much damage from those, but what if we just use, like... I know I don't really want to use Flare, but, like... What if we do? Just one. One won't kill us. How much will this do? Turn it off the menu for the effect. That's a lot better. It was Flare, which, like, is not something I really want to, like, get rid of. We can do it a little bit here and there. I'm sure, like, it's... This guy doesn't have, like, too much health. And let's be a little safe here. Let's cure Zell up. I'm gonna get save back from this guy. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna regain save. We want to regain save and limit break, I think, are, like, the two big ones we want to take back. Just please have, like... <laughs> A couple thousand health, like everybody else did. Guardian Force maybe could be good. I don't know. Squall just attack. Um, you can heal Kistis. I feel like Kistis is maybe the one I want to use magic the most. 
because it doesn't I think we have I think we have flare on her attack and it doesn't matter that much if her attack goes down she's not that useful like she's not one of the best like the strongest builds we have that's just yeah you know, well we're it's fine we'll, we're making it we're making it work how much is this doing yeah that's okay But I hope they don't keep, like, ramping up. Maybe I need to get rid of all of his, like, appendages in one go? Is that a thing? Does he shoot them? Does he, like, shoot it off when he attacks? Why does it keep showing me that animation? We could scan, I guess. Maybe he's weak to something. Squall, just attack again. You can... Heal Squall, and then Kistis can scan. I mean, I don't know. Do we think there's another one that's close enough to the outside area that we could take limit instead? Is that maybe a, an option? Is that a play? Because I feel like limit will help us fight these bosses. Yeah, this guy's going down soon. Born of a jewel in Ultimacy's castle responds quickly to attacks. And he counterattacks immediately. You don't say. <laughs> Krista. What a beautiful name, Krista. Ah. Alright, I think we can just force it now. We can do enough physical damage. That's fine. I used, what, like three flares? Who cares? No big deal. Oh, he's got... Oh, oh okay. Alright, Krista thinking you're hot let's let's see what you got Krista let's go Krista <laughs> oh, all right it's decent I think this is that was the death attack right the death rattle all right well you you did you served your job I'm glad we just did this right oh that's cool looking are these guys all gonna have like a cool death a cool death Here's a question of the day. I feel we didn't ha we didn't have one of these in the last episode. Maybe it's been a little while. Question of the day: What's your favorite like um, dramatic like death of an enemy character in like a game? I like some classic ones. Obviously, uh, you know I'm a big Nintendo guy. I like uh, Crocomire dying in the lava in Super Metroid. It's very memorable. I like um, the <laughs> how long the enemies explode in Mega Man X. I think specifically Mega Man X2, they just never stop exploding, which is very amusing. Alright, what are we taking? Do we want this, or... Let's just... Let's just go with what we know. Let's take Limit Break. Then we'll take Save after that. That'll help us kind of get around more. Draw would also be good. I'm sure these guys have some good magics to draw. But at this point, I feel like we've drawn, like, a lot of good magic already. I don't know. We can probably make it back out of here into the save point, right? Without healing. I could cut that out, but I guess we'll just probably do that. We cut enough out already of getting back to that and all that. Yeah. Will our guys come back to the front if we do this? I think they do. Oh, yeah, because they're right here. They're right here and they're un they're untalking. It's such a random thing. Isn't this flare? Yeah. Let's give Zell that back. That's good. Oh, he's only stocked one, but whatever. It's, that's like a, half of what he used. So <laughs> we need to tent. Tent me, daddy. What if you could regain all of your health and livelihood by sleeping in a tent? I would be out in the yard 24-7, you guys. I don't like... This quarantine hasn't has not made me feel better in any way. I've been anxious all the time. I was... Before this, I was really hitting the gym. And by really hitting, I mean, you know, like... I'm an average guy. I was going, like, maybe twice a week. <laughs> but that was... For me, it was, felt good. It was like a real, like, zone I was getting in. I was watching anime on the treadmill. It was, like, a good time. And now I can't go anymore. It sucks. I don't like it. Oh, yeah. All right. Enough about personal human woes, though. All right, let's find 
let's find something good. I know we were over here. Like, this was sort of a loop around kind of thing. But let's check this out again. I just want to make sure we know what's in our immediate vicinity. What was through this door? This was... This room, which I don't think is really anything. Though there is a switching spot in here, so maybe that's... Does this lead to the, like, chapel? Oh no, this is the armor key, right? Treasure vault key? Treasure vault key. And this... Oh yeah, this room. I guess we never went here, right? Well, this... Is this a thing? A cactar, huh? I think I guess I'm leaving this paddle in. We'll kill this guy for the AP. We'll do it for the vine. Shoutouts to Kistis' whip, which just really... It reaches such range. I always feel like a whip would be like the hardest uh, item, like a hardest weapon to fight with. Do you guys get me on that one? Why would you ever want to use a whip? I feel like it's just so unwieldy. It just seems so like unbelievable as an item, as a weapon. I just thought of something else. We need to... I feel like Pain Train is like not getting anything that he should be getting. He could definitely be getting better things. Let's learn the Forbidden Arts. This could be good too, but... Well, I don't know. Whatever, he'll learn the Forbidden Arts. What about anybody else? Like... Even you're like pretty maxed. Get Mug on you. This is good. I feel like I've given up on these Guardian Force abilities. That's... Yeah, that's good. Luck plus 50 would have been good, too. I don't think we'll have, like, we've got enough battles to really see a lot of this stuff. But, yeah, whatever. Um, I completely forgot about this. So, this is definitely one of our puzzles as well. Um, if we... Yeah, I think if we put a party member... If we put one of our parties here, and we got another one up there then we could lift us over into that. And I know we got up here at one point because we came down from that side. I guess this would be the party, right? That we will want to go up. So let's try to figure this one out. I don't think this one will be too bad. I'll switch our stuff. Can I... No, if... Well, if I leave now, then... Well, it'll reset. But we do have a trek to go, because I don't 100% remember how to get back there. Who's got the most Kiragas? You've got enough, I guess. Yeah, once we get save back, it'll be a lot easier, I think. I mean, I, we will still need item to use a tent. Hold on, so... Was it around to the right over here? Or what did I was it me going through that other area and then I think it might have been like this. Let's try it. <laughs> you know what? We're showing off the gang on this one. B team. <laughs> that freaking that a caterpillar guy, so stupid looking. <laughs> Shoot him, Irvine. Ultra waves. Did I ever get that? Did that guy just drop a kiss disability I have never seen or used before? I don't remember ever seeing ultra waves, you guys. It's probably because it's crappy. Like it's not good, but what if? What if we never used it? All right, where does this goes to here? Which is its own whole puzzle entirely. But I swear one of these ways got me around to that other zone. No. What if it was this? Because we would have done this pretty early, I think. Like, yeah, maybe I went up the stairs here. And this brings us around. Oh man, I don't think we even... Did we even go up here? 
In that battle, Irvine got petrified. That's cool. And somehow, Renoa... Is this just because... What are you... Is this just because Renoa's stats are lower? Why, did, why is she not at the... 999? Did I... Did I... Hold on. Did I give Selfie the other, the Zell set? You've got the Squall one. No, you have the, you do have the, Renoa does have the Zell set. Maybe Zell's HP was just that good. Is that what it is? I don't know, I'm dumb. Um, where is Asuna? Okay. Did we did we go up here? I don't even think we did. Well, this is good. This is good new intel for us. What is this? What's all the, what's all this then? It's a lot of paintings here. I think you can look. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think you can probably look at all of these. In Audax. Okay. Is this like a scrambled message? Let's save this room. I think we'll come back here. Maybe we'll come here next. I still am committed to to getting to that pulley uh, room, the lever room. Look at these guys. Snake O and what was this Bear Claw guy's name? Death Claw. Remember, remember sna the Snake Zone. God, what a what a frustrating video that one was. That was one of like the worst videos of this project. <laughs> that sucked. Okay. Was it through this door then? I feel like we are getting close. I swear we're close. Close by. What was through here? We definitely came this way. Oh, here? I feel like that we're moving in the direction... Didn't I go through all this before we got to this room? Yes. Okay. Good. 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 All right. Cool. So this is for sure a thing. Yeah. Let's switch to the other party. And then this will push us up, right? Please let it. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> um. Crap. Is this just going to bring him down? I guess we're like the same weight, right? Oh, what can we do about this? What do I need to put here? What if I have to put like... I wonder if, if, if each party member has an inherent weight value. Oh, you have to bring them to the spot. This is... I feel like we're so close, though. This has got to be something. <laughs> Damn it. Can we... Is there anything, like, heavy to pick up? Or... Hmm. Damn, I was so sure of this one. Maybe we'll have to put, put, a, put a bookmark in this. Put a pin in it. Maybe we'll have to put a bird on it. Man, all right. Well, whatever. We'll switch back to the other guys then. And then if we step off here, they'll come down. Huh. No? Is there not another one over here? Isn't this... Oh. Oh, a lever? Is this something I can push to activate it? What made that happen? Did I do that, or... We can't, like, send it back up, can we? Was there a lever up there? It looks like there's, like, a little thing on the wall, but I don't know if I even... if that's even real. I think it, that may have... I think it may have just worked kind of like we thought it would. Like, when we got off, it, it... they fell down. Maybe they weren't... we weren't fully off yet. Oh, man, we haven't seen this! Yo, give me a thumbnail. 
Remember how how remember how awesome this actually was? The Gilg, look at him rising up with all of his glory. Should we do a, a music thing for Gilgamesh? We didn't do one for Odin. I feel like it wouldn't be right. I, you know I would just play a Garugamesh song. Or I would just put the Sakura Khan, like, Garugamesh in there. In fact, just put that in now, Snack. Just put it in right here. Alright, good. Did you guys like hearing about that? Do you remember that? Are you guys old enough to remember that meme? Are you guys older than me? Am I too young? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay. I think we're going to try to make moves back to the, like, art area with the paintings. That may be a whole... That may just be, like, one self-contained room. So I kind of want to see if I can figure that out. And that's not too far from here. There's nothing in this room at all. Like, there, I don't... This isn't a puzzle element to anything. It's weird that there's a, an option to switch. I feel like we need to be very aware of the option to switch parties because I feel like it's almost always going to relate to one of the puzzles to do. I'd love to get like two of these guys done in each video. Let's see if we can figure this green room one out. The green room. I love going around and like exploring like mansions and stuff like this though that's one of the things that's cool about the original resident evil too well i mean that's like the thing that is cool about it that's like basically the, the game of it more or less cool game though you guys play uh, resident evil 3 the remake yet that's that's kind of topical <laughs> it came out like a, a month ago now maybe even a couple months when you see this but Wait, so this... Why did that say Inadax that time? Is Am I supposed to, like, get a word from each of these? Ignis. That's one of the guys from FF15, I think. What's this one? Inundancha. Ah, Inundancha. That's the flood. Like, inundate, I guess. Is this, uh, like, you know, Latin? Is that what all this is? Eudicium. Final Fantasy Decidia Duodecim. Judgment. Okay. Am I supposed to... Am I gonna need to, like, organize these or something? What happens now that I have, like, a couple words? Am I supposed to make, like, a... Like, a... Ethos? Like, the title is... They all start with an I... I mean, it looks the most like this. <laughs> okay, I guess I probably want to collect all of the names first, maybe. Oh man, and you know what I just noticed? There's a clock face on the floor here. And there's definitely a big clock in the, like, later part of this dungeon. So that's probably something, too. It's probably telling me, like... Because we know, like, we know, right, that you can move those hands for sure. I didn't figure out how to do it, but I did kind of go pretty quickly. Oh, man, you know what I just realized? We didn't switch our junctions back over. Can Squall still just kill? He's strong enough, I guess, to kill these guys. I should have done that. What's wrong with me? What's what? How much damage are we gonna do to Armaldo here? Armadodo. Oh, we knocked him over. I don't think I ever saw this happen to him before. This is the guy I was thinking of. There's like Armadodo, and then there's another guy who's called like Ro Rondo, Rado, or something from last episode. They're like similar guys. All right. Well, we we junction list those guys. I bet they feel really stupid right about now. Yeah, what's this clock face showing? It's almost like I would need to be in a battle to see what the, where the hands are pointing. That's crazy. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. Well, the junctions are right. I was just, like, being weird. I realized we missed a painting over here. What one are you? This is a nice episode. We're appreciating art. Oh, this is the Totoro one. Or is that Snorlax? Or where the wild things are? Intervigilum. Intervigilium. Sleep. Oh, these are, like, elements, too, huh? Kind of? Are they like magic? Am I supposed to, like, use my magics on... The, the main stat on uh, the main painting or they all start with an eye though I feel like that's very specific it's not what I meant to do or did it did it look at it yes okay oh this one doesn't start with an eye though vividarium maybe that's the key maybe I have to spell v i i i Oh, look at this very hidden draw point that I'm not going to remember when we get draw back. <laughs> I'm sure these draw points are like have good stuff, though. There's like such late game ones. Vigil. Maybe are all the top ones Vs? This is the Watchmen. Viator. That's a nice painting. Have you guys ever been to an art gallery? That's the second question of the day. And did you like it? Was it your speed? Did you appreciate it? Venus? I do like art, but I'm not one of those people who will like sit there and like, or stand there and like look, like really like look at it. I don't, I don't really think I can appreciate it in that way. Oh, it's on guard, Zephius. Well, we all learned something. We all learned the Latin word for swordfish today, I guess. This one's just a lady. What if it just said lady on there? <laughs> oh, no, of course. Zarampelene. Red clothes. Okay. Oh, these are going to be the face. These are going to be the uh, numbers on the clock, huh? They're all Z's, I's, and V's. So all like the Latin numbers. Zistius. Look at those trees. What are we on? Are we on Namek? What's happening here? Was that guy riding like an, like a very mid medieval chocobo in that picture? That one was wild. I, we gotta look at that one again. I think I know what I need to do here. I think I have this one figured out. Yeah, look, he's like riding like a very old, like ye old chocobo. <laughs> so weird. All right, and the last one. Yeah, now, oh no, we we did we saw this one already. So, from what I'm, from what I think at least, we're gonna have to like go around and kind of make a clock order here with the painting. But I don't know if I, I feel like I may still be missing one piece to the puzzle. Right? Like, will this work? Or let's see how they all lay out here once we got all of them. Because what if I did, like, one... Well, shoot. Like, right? Doesn't it make sense that these are... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five... No, this would be five. These are, like, six... I could make... <laughs> Do you guys... <laughs> are we here with me on, on this? Maybe the... maybe are the, are the buttons on the clock, like, actually facing something? So, okay. Obviously, I, I, X, I, and V are the... Are the three letters that make up, like, you know, the Roman numerals. I'm assuming the, these... What's on the picture here well, has something to do with what's on the clock on the ground but I don't know if like maybe there's like an again if there's another element to the puzzle or or what I'm bad at these you guys I'm bad at puzzling I've been streaming Celeste lately and there's been there's been some puzzles there's been some pig some puzzles on that that I've just been very bad at. 
I don't think, like, do any of these have anything to do with each other? Is there a connection between the paintings themselves, I guess is what I should be asking. Or is there something in this painting that, like, wants to indicate what we should choose? It doesn't look like it's, like, there's any faces, like, any, um, hands on the clock face or anything there. Just let me out of here. Just leave me alone. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. I patted my... I slapped my cheeks. We can solve this here now. Let's see. Okay. The title is... It's too faint to read. <laughs> um That doesn't do anything. I was trying to do like eight. Well, you can only pick 3 of them, huh? Maybe it does have something to do with like the like the content of the paintings I could look at them all again let's do that I'll cut it out let's just check them all out one more time and then we'll cut this out well you guys if I had just remembered to come back up here I would have been able to get a good look at this clock face and actually I can tell that it does have hands on it so I think we've got our solution here. Um, I was I got up here and I was like, I wonder if I could like see it from a different angle if I went over here. And sure enough, um, so the numbers are eight. Was that a three? It's a it's an incorrect four. Why does Final Fantasy always do this? Didn't Final Fantasy VII have the exact same thing? It was four eyes instead of an an eye and a V. What's wrong with... Who's over... Did Nomura do this? <laughs> I don't know. I want to blame him for some reason. Who's out there at, at Square doesn't know what the Roman numeral 4 is? They published a game that had it in the title. It's so funny. Maybe it's a reference to that. Or maybe I'm wrong and there is some, like... Some different Roman 4 or something. It's 4, 6, and 8, right? Four, six, eight. So I would assume that this is now kind of giving us our answer. And it may have something to do with those clock, with the clock, uh, hands on the clock on the other part of the map too, that big clock. Four, six, and eight. We got to remember that. Okay. Um... But I still don't, like really know is it maybe like so this is the fourth eye down and then it like this is six and Venus is eight maybe I wonder is it is it that easy like that simple that they would just go down in a row doesn't look like anything happened so probably not so maybe we're not out of the woods yet we're, I swear we're going to finish this here, though. Maybe it's the opposite way. Maybe it's 648. Or 8864, eight, I mean. Get out of here. What did I say? We're not fighting another one of these? I meant it. I meant what I said. Let me leave. <laughs> Guess this is in limit mode. We're going to have to heal up before we battle the next guy, but we're so close to this. I can feel it. Is it enough? Like if, like if it's, if it was one, two, three, four, f no, it's it's what, one, two, three, four, five should be the first V. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I mean, there are twelve ones, but if we're doing it like that, then it would really be 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It should really be that. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> that is what it was, right? Or maybe it's like hours, maybe it's hours, minutes, seconds. Oh man, I would have never figured this out if it weren't for just going over here. I was like here and I saw that there was there was one hand and I was like, "Oh. Okay, so maybe it's maybe it's meaning us to read it as like 8 4 6. Cuz 8 would be the hour. The minute would be 4. Or you know, 20. Okay, let's try it like that. <laughs> I don't know, man. Shoot. Hopefully this is the hardest one. <laughs> okay, so if we do... If we just keep with this line of thinking... Of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Then it was one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ugh. The only other thing I can think of is like, what if it's how many of the letter is in each word? So, like, I don't even think that's possible. This one could have. This one could be a, and technically has the letters to create eight, because it's got a V and it's got three I's. And this one has one, two, three, four I's. Is there one that's just got one? Viator. Well, it's not what I meant to do. Viator. That could be. It, it, it checks out. It's enough. Oh, it was these long ones, right? Vividarium. This would be the one that's most like eight. This would be the one that's got four eyes. Six. Oh! <gasps> we did it, you guys! Vividarium et intervigilium et viator. In the garden sleeps a messenger. Okay, please don't let this be the battle right away. I need to heal. <laughs> okay. Oh god. <laughs> hey guys! Um, should we battle this guy now? We might do it on the next one. You had so many Kiragas, girl. I didn't know. Is there like 60? That's more than the boys have. Should we just do it now? We'll, we'll save it. This has been a long one. We got the puzzle solved. Next time we'll fight this guy and then we'll try to go s solve something somewhere else. Later.